Well, good evening, everybody. At the risk of sounding like the Verizon guy, can you hear me now? All right, great. Well, that was awesome, Jan, a worm farmer. Love it. I am a farmer of engagement and knowledge production. My name is Jeff Wilhelm, and I'm the director of the Boise State Writing Project at Boise State University. And my job is to teach teachers and to learn from teachers so we can work together to help students learn. And I work with teachers who work for transformation, teachers like Mr. Jordan. Give it up for Mr. Jordan, please. <laughs> Mr. Hendershot, please give it up for Mr. Hendershot. <laughs> Ms. Roberts, give it up for Ms. Roberts, please. The central project of the Boise State Writing Project is teaching through inquiry, which is just a way of saying, uh, of making learning matter and putting it to use. So that's what I'm going to talk about tonight. So at the Boise State Writing Project, we call it writing for your life. Because what we do is help teachers inquire into and reflect on their practice so they can help their students learn. And we help students learn through inquiry. So, and again, that's making learning matter. These two quotes pretty much summarize how we do things at the Boise State Writing Project. Seymour Papert said, the only thing worth learning is learning how to learn. Uh, so we teach how to learn. And Gandhi, of course, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. We teach for change. Now, inquiry is a process that naturally leads to service and social action. And it helps students and teachers to develop deep, situated, and usable understandings. And as I always say to the teachers with whom I work, if we're not teaching for understanding and use, then what in the heck are we teaching for? <laughs> hey, that was part of my 15 seconds. Uh, the many outcomes of inquiry include student engagement, student empowerment, community connection, the development of disciplinary expertise, self-directed and ethical members of society, becoming responsible citizens and servant leaders, and becoming contributors to the betterment of the world. So how do we do it? Here are the preconditions of learning. We create a compelling question and a motivating and meaningful context of use. We activate personal background and connections. We challenge misconceptions and single points of view. We build community. And then we inquire in ways that are going to lead to service and social action. The process of inquiry includes asking an essential or existential question. That basically means you reframe curriculum as a problem to be solved. So instead of teaching Romeo and Juliet, you teach uh, what makes and breaks relationships. This process I call the six M's of teaching. Motivating, modeling how, mentoring how, monitoring how, using multiple modalities and multiple measures for learning. Now, the research on motivation shows that motivation is the prerequisite to all learning. And it requires that you have a clear purpose and continual feedback on how you're meeting that purpose an appropriate challenge and assistance to meet that challenge, that you're promoting competence and control, that you're immersed in the immediate, and you are leveraging the social. Now, in my study of motivation, our informants privileged literacy activities that did or led to immediate functional work in the world, to the making and doing things that allowed them to stake their identity, and that allowed them to immediately apply what they were learning. They also required of their teachers what we came to call the social contract to care. They wanted teachers to get to know them as individuals, to express care about them as individuals, to address their interest, and to teach them, to help them to do what they could not yet do on their own. Now, what model of instruction meets all the conditions of motivation? Only inquiry. What model of instruction meets the social contract of care? Only inquiry. If we're lecturing, if we're doing worksheets, if we're only taking tests, we're meeting none of them. Now, here are some inquiry questions and existential questions that the Boise State Writing Project fellows have been teaching just in the last year. What makes and breaks relationships? What are civil rights and how do we best protect them? Here are some sub-questions from some students who asked the question, what is our proper relationship to nature? Is it ethical to use animals for the testing of cosmetics? Is there a place for animal dissection in schools? And many others. Now, Inquiry always leads to a culminating project where you write something, you make something, and then you do something. Here's uh, a magazine that a group of students made who are studying what uh, is teen health and how can we promote it. 
There are many different kinds of composing that you can use when you teach through inquiry. And here are just a few. Museum exhibits, how-to guides, travel logs, writing a children's book, doing a li living history museum, video documentaries, public service announcements, and on and on. Now, our students have actually contributed to archival kinds of publications. Uh, that group studying food actually contributed to an Issues 21 book, Food. Uh, it was originally called um, You Are What You Eat, and that's Big Bad News, and they came up with a much more boring title. Uh, there's a lot of social action and service ideas that come up from these inquiries. Volunteer work, peer mediation projects, local hero celebrations, community cleanup projects, building, repairing or rebuilding something, town hall community build uh, meetings. Uh, all school projects can work for a carbon footprint uh, reduction. They can lead to student teaching and consulting in the community. One of my favorite projects was piloted by my wife at the Foothill School where they worked to reduce the carbon footprint and every day they would put on their banner how much they had reduced their carbon footprint. Here's one student who wrote a bio poem after an inquiry. He said his new name was Risk Taker. Risk, brave, courageous, informed, uncertain, who needs the world to be encouraging. Oh, I can't go back, darn it. So, you just got the beginning of that. Anyway, uh, I want to thank you for your kind attention, and I want to encourage you to be the change that needs to be made in the world, and let's give a big hand to all the teachers who are making that happen.